Hello and welcome to the playlist on SAP and Power Platform here on the SAP on Azure YouTube channel. In previous videos, we looked at how to install the on-prem data gateway. We also already connected to a simple remote function call in the SAP system. However, in a lot of cases, you just want to look up information in a table in your SAP system. Luckily, the SAP ERP connector comes with an action that does exactly that. So we want to create a simple Power Automate flow that uses the on-premises data gateway to connect to the SAP system using the SAP.NET connector and then fetches information from an SAP table. So let's take a look. So I have here my Power Automate flow lookup table in SAP and you can see right now it's just a manual trigger. So what I want to do is I want to create a new step, a new action. And I again want to focus on our SAP ERP connector. And unlike before, where we use the SAP function to call um, a BAPI or a function module, what I now want to do is um, do a read SAP table with parsing. So very much like what we did before, I first need to um, specify the system parameters. So I'll just um, copy and paste this JSON string. And again, um, we'll take a look how we can um, make this also in an environment um, environment variable. Um, and here I specify the internal name. So the name behind the firewall basically of my SAP system, the client, um, the application server, server, um, the logon group. I also need to specify um, connection details. So I'll just use SAP authentication. I'll select the on-premises data gateway. So here, for example, I have an on-premises data gateway cal s hana system. Um, that is configured to connect to an S4HANA system. So I'll now um, provide the, the username that I want to use to this um, specific SAP system and um, the password. So this is the authentication that also an end user might be prompted then since we're not talking about single sign on at this moment. But this is just this um, connection that allows me now from a design perspective to connect um, to the SAP system. With this, I can actually specify the table name. So for example, let's say we want to look up um, the users in the SAP system. I can just um, type in this, this um, user table name. Um, I can then now select what, what are the relevant fields. And you can see it's now fetching um, the information, the relevant um, information from the SAP system. I can here see the list of different fields. So for example, maybe I want to have um, the username. Maybe I also want to have, um, I don't know, um, the uh, date format or the status or something like that. Maybe let me just select one other topic here. And then we're good to go. So I can just um, click on save. And we can just test this flow directly here from Power Automate. So and you can immediately see here the trigger was obviously a manual trigger. We can see here our um, input um, um, information that we provided, so host name. We can see that we want to have the um, username and the language. And you can see here um, are the results. You can see all um, the uh, users that are um, available in the system. And I can actually um, also obviously take a look at the SAP system. So if I go here to the SAP system, again, this is behind the firewall. So I'm now connected via remote desktop. And let's say if I take a look here at um, this, this table USR01, and I just look at the content, you can see here um, the different users also in the SAP system. And back here, yeah, the, the logon languages. So I hope this quick video showed you how easy it is to connect from your Power Platform to the SAP system, fetch some tables in your SAP system, and leverage this data in your Power Automate flow. Thank you very much for watching.